Yeah, and Jeremy, the two-year anniversary of Elijah McClain's death was last week, so this was emotional news for everyone who loved Elijah the most. And I did speak with his mother. She said she still talks with Elijah, and he prepared him, prepared her for this moment. Two years afterwards, justice is being served. Elijah's getting his justice. I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. For two years since her son Elijah McClain died after a rough police altercation and after paramedics sedated him with a ketamine injection, Shanine McClain has been looking for accountability and justice. She learned in a phone call that all three of the police officers who confronted her son in August 2019 and the paramedics who sedated him would be facing manslaughter charges and criminally negligent homicide charges. Most also facing additional charges, including second degree assault. I'm grateful to Attorney General Weiser and his team. I'm grateful to the grand jury for sitting through all that evidence because it was hard for me to, to watch as his mom, but I'm grateful for their, for their efforts and their findings. It's great that the grand jury got to the truth of the matter. Good morning. The Attorney General announced the 32 count indictment against the five current and former Aurora police and fire personnel Wednesday morning, nearly eight months after he first announced a grand jury would be handling the investigation. Those jurors gathered evidence in complete secrecy, coming to a conclusion that Shanine says helped her sleep more peacefully this week. It, it means that moving forward, law enforcement and paramedics are going to have to be more humane to people because Elijah believed in humanity. He respected them in ways that they didn't even give him credit for, you know. He had more humanity in his finger than they had in their whole body. So it's important that law enforcement and the paramedics do better jobs. Now, all but one police officer was also charged with committing a crime of violence. The attorney general said he is also still investigating the Aurora Police Department for patterns and practices of civil rights violations. I'm Lori Jangleyha, Fox 31.